Today we're going to check out how to make this typo composition with magnifying bubbles here in Adobe Dimensions. Okay, so let's start a project in Illustrator. And we are not doing with this drug font because it might be expensive for some of you. So instead of that, I got to go with something else. Let's select the type tool, type in whatever you want. And I'm going to type into the font six caps. And this is a free font you can download, by the way. I got to leave a link in the description. We're going to need to make this more condensed and more wide at the same time. So I got a trick for you. I'm going to zoom in, press and hold Alt, drag it to the right, also press Shift. This way you create a new copy. Now I'm going to select both and I'm going to go back to the spacing and I'm going to decrease it somewhere around minus 10. A right click, create outlines, go to the Pathfinder, click on Unite. Now let's select the direct selection tool and I'm going to select the top part of the letters. Okay, now we're going to break the rules in typography and we're going to go reckless. And I'm going to drag it, press and hold shift at the same time, something like this. I'm going to do the same thing with the bottom part. Now this is not 100% correct, but I'm going to make it look decent. Let's save it as a JPEG, open up dimensions, select the plane. Let me see where is that. There you go. And we're going to go to the rotation X 90 degrees and I'm going to bring it up. Let's go to the actions, click on this cube, convert it, click on place graphic on model and let's select the text that we created. I'm going to scale it from this little rectangle, press and hold shift, scale it up. Now let's go back and I'm going to select the sphere and let's scale it down and let's bring up the position somewhere here. Now I'm going to go to the left menu, collapse the models and here we got the Adobe standard material and drag and drop the glass onto the sphere. Right now you don't see anything but you're going to need to activate the ray tracing which is here in the corner, click on it and it's going to start to do its magic. Now I'm going to go back and select the sphere and in order to change the magnification you can do a couple of things. You can go to the size and unlock it with this. So click on it and we're going to go to the Z and decrease the Z. It is going to change up the skill as well. I'm going to increase it a little bit to 10 for example. So for example the size is on 10 and the skill Z is on 0.5 but I'm going to decrease it on 5 for example. So this one is a little bit more subtle but this sphere it might be also in the back. So check this out half of it is in the back and as you can see it's not a perfect sphere because we made it oval it's going to change the magnification properties. So I'm going to decrease the size even more for example on 2. And I'm going to bring it out something like this and I'm going to go back to the camera and go to the rotation zero and this one is on zero as well. I'm going to zoom out and bring this back and now as you can see we got the different result or you can change up the position, bring it out or bring it in. You got quite a bit of options here and this is how you make this really cool droplets here in Adobe Dimensions. Thanks for watching.